Welcome. In this video, we will discuss Inim Cloud services that provide users of Inim Intrusion Alarm and Home Automation Systems with exceptional ways of managing their systems. Everything is easily accessible via web browser and smartphone apps. Let's see how. Let's register the user account. Go to www.inimcloud.com. Click on Register. Choose to register as a user. Enter personal data. Read the privacy policy. Check the data. Confirm. You will receive an email confirming the account. Click on the confirmation link. At this point, the account is confirmed and you will be able to access the cloud page. Click on Go to Inim Cloud. A temporary number will be provided that must be entered on the control panel. From the keypad, go to Menu, enter user code, Activations, Cloud Enrollment. Enter the temporary number that is shown on the cloud page and press OK. The control panel must have already been registered on the cloud by the installer. Now the control panel is bound to your account. Click on Show Panel Details. The cloud requires you to enter the PIN that allows you to operate the control panel. Therefore, 0001 at factory default. And access the home page. At the top, you can see the name of your system and choose another if you have more than one. On the right, you have indication that you are the admin. In other words, the main user of the system and indication regarding the supervisor. In other words, the installer who installed and registered the control panel on the cloud. When your control panel verifies events and sends them to the cloud, your page will show the list of these events and their relative notifications on the top right of the page. This notification area is present on all the pages of the cloud. On the events page, you will find the list of all the events the control panel has sent to the cloud. It is possible to filter them by type. Mark them as red via the check icon with the relative decremented notification. Or mark them all as red via the bell icon. The cloud events are marked as red by clicking on the respective notification icon. The other icons allow you to carry out a search by type or specific period. Save the list to a file on your PC. Read the control panel events log. Read previously stored events by means of the respective button. Let's go back to the home page. In the scenario section, you can see the active scenario or activate one of the program scenarios. In the smart home section, you can activate the outputs associated with your code. Under climate, you can see the status of the keypad thermostats. Finally, you can see if there are any armed partitions or bypassed zones and, if required, unbypass them. Let's see the details of all these sections in the menu on the left. In the Scenarios page, you have a list of all the program scenarios. You can see the active scenario and activate another. As with the home page, you have the details of the armed partitions and bypassed zones. 
In the Partitions and Zones page, you have the details of the partitions and their associated zones, which you can bypass or unbypass. In the Smart Home page, you have a list of all your code associated outputs, which you can enable or disable. In the Climate page, you can program the thermostats on the keypads. It is possible to view the current temperature and see whether the thermostat is active or not, adjust the temperature, change the operating mode, for example from manual to daily and, via the set key, adjust the temperature for each time slot. And finally, select either winter or summer operating mode. In the system page, you can see all the peripheral devices on your system, the firmware version, the supply voltage, and the status. On the notifications page, you can select which type of events to receive an email for. Add mailboxes, and choose whether or not to have push notifications on your app. Let's go back to the home page. The last two icons on the upper right side of the page enable you to log out and go to your profile page. Via the My Profile Settings button, you can change your personal data and information. At the bottom, you can find the list of mobile devices bound to your account, which is currently empty, and the separate windows of all your systems. Via the lock icon, you can reload the system configuration. The key icon confirms that the system ownership belongs to your user account. The button next to it allows you to unbind the system from your account. The other button will allow you to unbind the control panel from the account of your installer who must return to the system in order to rebind it by means of the registration procedure. If you want to bind a new system to your account, simply click on the Add button. This will generate a new temporary number that will allow you to bind the new system, as you did for the first one. If your control panel is bound to several user accounts, and if you are the admin user, in the system page, you can delete all the other users. Or transfer the role of admin user. Let's see what happens when system ownership belongs to the installer instead of the user. On the top right, the key icon confirms that ownership belongs to the supervisor. In other words, the installer. In the system page, it is possible to unbind the account and that of other users, since you are the admin user, but the control panel will still be supervised by the installer who maintains ownership. Now let's see how to configure the Alien Mobile Plus app. Start the app. Go to Settings, Control Panel. On the top right, you find the Cloud section. Enter your user account and password and click on Login. Automatically, the app will load all the systems bound to your account. Let's go back to the main screen. Now you are connected to the control panel. For example, let's go to the Commands page. Activate the boiler output. It will be necessary to enter your user code 0001 and turn it off. The app will allow you to receive notifications on your device in accordance with those you have decided to receive. By clicking on them, you can access the list of the events that have occurred. Using the icons at the top, you can see the different types of events, such as alarms, faults and all other events. Or within the app, 
you can press the notifications button and display the list of events. If at this point you access your user account, in the list of mobile devices, you will find the one on which you use the Alien Mobile Plus app bound to the cloud. If you press delete, you must repeat the login procedure on your app. Thank you for following this tutorial on the Inim Cloud.